What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video and today I'm coming at you with a video about the patch notes that just came out for version 1.7.5. It is the patch we've all been waiting for for months. It, it fix, fixes a lot of things, changes a lot of characters, fills in a bunch of stuff that was missing, so it's a big big update that we've been waiting for. I'm gonna go through some of the more important changes that they made in this patch, so I'm gonna go over to the patch notes and we can go through some of those changes. Right off the rip, we can see in additions, they actually added four pretty major things. One, there are three new items. C-section is now functional. If you went to the death certificate floor and grabbed the C-section item, it didn't actually work for you. So now we actually get Tainda Lilith's tears or her tear effect with the, the baby. We actually get that now if we grab C-section. A bag of crafting, flip, some torium. Those are the items for tainted uh, cane, tainted Laz, and tainted eve you can now actually pick those up they can be found in the game now which is pretty cool i don't exactly know how some torium is going to work i think flip is kind of going to work like uh asaw jr but bag of crafting is just going to work the same but another big thing is they actually finished the birthright effects all characters now have birthright effects which is pretty cool it was not fun having a bunch of characters who that was just useless for another big change that they did add was you can now see lost health in the HUD, which is pretty cool. This means that we can also see his holy mantle. So you can now see if you have holy mantle, if you forget that you didn't have it, just it's a little bit of quality of life updates. It's pretty nice. Next thing we have is Tainted Azazel. Uh, what they did to Tainted Azazel is he has a shorter duration on his brimstone, but he also has a cool buff on his sneeze. His sneeze now automatically goes off instead of having to release early. As you're charging up, he'll sneeze. Anybody that gets hit by the sneeze gets damaged. And it also, it changes the charge time to half the amount of time if you hit the sneeze. They kind of changed Tainted Eve, so now if you use some Torium when you have a bunch of clots and you go up to max health, it's not going to suck up every single clot. Very good change that they made. Very annoying when you had about three hearts of red heart health and you sucked up 20 clots and just they were wasted. Tainted Eden no longer rerolls on self-inflicted damage or fatal damage. Uh, the reason why fatal damage is big is because... Prior, if you had nine lives and you got hit for fatal damage, it would actually reroll you out of nine lives, so you wouldn't come back to life. It wasn't fun, it wasn't a cool thing, but now it actually works how it kind of should work. One of the big, big changes they made is donation machines now explode upon being bombed, which means we can no longer farm our coins at our machines to buy stuff in the shop, which is kind of, it's kind of sad. It also means that we don't get to use the donation machine for the rest of the run. So if you bomb it at all, you can't donate more. You can't get more coins out of it. Kind of a bummer. They made a lot of changes also on synergies when it, came, when it comes to any sort of uh, Dr. Fetus, Rocket Jar, uh, Brimstone and Tech and Knife, all those kind of uh, items that had weird synergies that didn't work correctly. Those have been fixed, so they make it a little bit better. Another thing that I am kind of absolutely devastated about is picking up items granted by Satanic Bible now counts as taking a devil deal. So if you guys ever watch any of my runs, I love taking Satanic Bible and going for angel deals because you get all the devil deal items, you get all the angel deal items. Now they took that away from us. We no longer can have that fun. I think it's... I don't think it's a bad thing that they did, but it just means that you don't really want to take satanic bible and take devil deals so it kind of i don't i don't know it, it's a little bit weird i don't know if i completely agree with it but it is what it is it's what they decided to change another thing that's kind of a weird change in my opinion is they did they made it so converter is now a three room cooldown so converter what it does is it converts three soul hearts to one red heart i believe and so you could actually abuse Converter uh, with Tainted Judas and Tainted Bethany. If you kept on using it over and over again, it would actually cause mass room damage and pretty much you could use it infinitely, infinitely and it was super OP. I think it's kind of a weird thing to put a cooldown on. I don't think it was super, super broken. I mean, it was kind of broken for certain characters, but it, it is what it is. I never actually used Converter really, so that's just how it is this one right here this change right here absolutely devastates me absolutely devastates me they actually completely nerfed dark arts they made it so only dark judas and tainted judas get the damage up from dark arts which is what made it so so op it kind of makes sense that they did this but i'm still kind of sad 
They also made it so it now decays faster. The more damage you build up with dark arts, the faster it decays. I don't know. They kind of, they're, they're ruining some of my favorite items. Also, binge eater gives you a speed down now, which I think is kind of stupid. Makes sense because you get bigger, but I don't think binge eater was OP. I really don't think it was that OP. Another change that everybody was worried about was the sci-fly nerf. They do say that it's still a really good item, but there is now a period where it has to cool down before it can hit more projectiles. It's kind of sad to see the monster that was sci-fly, the absolute best item in the game, has been taken away from us. Console players will never get to experience sci-fly like we did. I'm sorry, console players. This is more of like a backwards fix. They make it so Spelunker Hat and Host Hat now block projectiles falling from above. Host Hat already did that previously, but they actually took that away. So now mom stomps hurt you, all of that. I'm pretty sure Host Hat now does block mom's foot. So that comes back into, into play. Pretty nice. I don't think Spelunker Hat ever did that though. So getting Spelunker Hat to block projectiles from above is actually a pretty huge change. Also, increasing the damage of Godhead's aura they, they're, it's a two times change. That's pretty insane. I think that they kind of did destroy our boy Godhead and made it not as useful, but at least with two damage on the aura, that's pretty decent. It's not bad. This destroy, this, this hurts me a little bit. So I don't know exactly why they decided to do this. So ultra secret rooms now have an item pool unique to them instead of using the angel room pool. So I don't know if what they mean by this is that they kept a lot of the angel deal items and added some more items into it to make it kind of a unique pool if there aren't angel items in the ultra secret room because ultra secret rooms they were amazing like the amount of times we got sacred heart from ultra secret rooms awesome but if they completely remove that from the game i'm very sad they finally fixed decap attack so we can no longer get the infinite decap attack heads very sad also fixed tm 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 i always try to call it tmt tm trainer Team Trainer will no longer re-roll items such as Polaroid, Negative, Dad's Note, which it used to re-roll and kind of ruin your game. Um, that's kind of what a lot of these fixes are. I think a lot of these fixes, whenever they go, you get to the fixes section, I think they're all pretty good. There's a lot of good fixes that fix bugs that weren't really fun. They re fixed the Reverse Emperor card. Uh, so you can no longer uh, create fights on Caves 2 and Depths 2. The reason that was an issue was because in Caves 2, if you used it on Caves 2, it would take you down to the Depths 2 boss, which is Mom's Foot. If you got into that fight, you couldn't actually leave. So you got trapped in there. So kind of not cool. Really not cool. Um, another thing is they did also fix Vanishing Twin on Gideon, so you no longer have to worry about breaking your game by accidentally taking Vanishing Twin there. One thing I'm kind of very disappointed about is I don't see anything, anything at all about daily runs. Um, I mean, we do see something that says uh, there was some sort of loading screen error where it showed the wrong character for Forgotten Bethany and Jacob Nasaw, but that's the only thing we see about daily runs. Daily runs, if you guys didn't know, have been broken for a long time. You can't get any of the daily run achievements. I got about 10 wins in a row when you only need five, never got the achievement. I hope that that's fixed. I hope that maybe they didn't mention this. I don't know if they're waiting to fix that. But that's one of the worst issues in the game right now. If they haven't fixed that yet, I'm pretty disappointed because that literally stops people from getting Dead God. One thing that's pretty interesting is apparently I think each character for Tainted Labs gets their own items in the item room. That's what I understand from this. All items that spawn as part of a room layout now have an alternate form which can be accessed using Flip. So it seems that there is now a second item in the room. There's a lot of things that I'm pretty sure they didn't list in the patch notes. I hope that this means that some of the other underlying issues were fixed and these are just the bigger ones they wanted to make sure they address. But yeah, this is a pretty good big update. It does change a lot of the characters. I I've pretty much gone over all the big uh, important changes they made. If you guys really want to read through this, it, I would say everybody should read through this just so they know what has changed in the game. They also fixed Genesis. This is also pretty big. So Damocles is now removed via Genesis. So that's one way to remove Damocles. Really cool stuff. You guys should go read this patch. You guys should be playing Isaac. If you guys are new to Isaac uh, and you guys just started playing on console, I'm actually going to be releasing my ultimate guide to Binding of Isaac. I've been working on it for uh, a while now. So I'm really excited for that to come out, but I'm working. I, it's a lot of editing, a lot of, I, I finished the script. I, it's all done. I just need to finish editing. The editing's pretty crazy. That's going to be the video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about some of these changes. And yeah, as always, guys, 
It's Fritz. Peace out. <laughs>